Pomeranian. I have two Pomeranians, actually. The stream is over? No, but how would you feel if you guys sat here while I chilled out and talked to you and installed more Stardew bots? Because <laughs> I want them. Hold on. Let me switch us back. What mods am I looking at? All the mods. Why do you need mods? We have mods at home? Yeah, but it's not those mods. I like those mods. Ah, thank you, Lioness. I appreciate that. What shall we listen to, chat? Not that we'd ever listen to music on stream because that's illegal. That's a sin. <laughs> what if I suggest twenty tens mix? Kind of predictable though. For some reason <laughs> in the twenty tens mix I've got a... Uh... over the place, actually. <laughs> it's got Sunflower, it's got Unity, it's got Hey Jude by the Beatles, my favorite 2010s hit. <laughs> what? of mods. Do you have a good suggestion for a mod that would let me move slightly faster or slow down the day a little bit? In the dark side of the moon After all I feel I have to do something to do with you you'll be my friend at the end More grass! I love more grass! Download. <laughs> you call me strong, you call me weak, but still your secrets I will keep. For granted, all the times I never let you down. Feel medic, thank you for gifting us up to Captain Depot. Thank you, thank you. Maybe, maybe I should just slow down this 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 uh, game run then. But yeah, no, it's specifically because I have added two mods that add so many NPCs, I don't get time to see them. And <laughs> it means that, like, I have to set aside, like, do it across three days or something to see everybody. Did I ask my dad for more for suggestions? No, that would be interesting considering I don't live with my dad. Thank you for the dollar. <laughs> Is 
this me this mod says it has two different versions. One with flowers with vivid colors and one with to toned down colors, but it doesn't say which one is which. And it's not very clear. I have no idea which one is which. Okay, thank you. Burbills, thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you, thank you. Time speed? Sounds good. Alright. Oh, oh, do, do. Install both? I think that might just cause problems. I'll go with the standard one because my mod as it is kind of tones things down anyway. Okay. I have installed one of many mods. <laughs> oh no, not again. <laughs> not Stacy's mo uh, mom again. Stacy's mods. Stacy's mods. <laughs> Rosy picket fence. Sounds nice. Da 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 Let me put this in here. I am. I'm downloading a bunch of mods. I just... I just find it fun, you know? I did not say dad. I concede it may have sounded like dad, but there is no reason why I would say dad. I haven't lived with my dad. In... Uh, 12 years. <laughs> that's not the kind of thing that's gonna slip out. to oh no no there was there was a mod that recolored the interiors of the farm building crops. I love crops. Do I need more crops, though? I feel like I already am spoiled for choice with crops. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> That's a cool idea, but it's a bit too much for me, I think. This one's not so bad. There ain't no rest for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees. I got bills to pay, I got mouths to feed. 
can't slow down, I can't go back now, you know I wish I could. There ain't no rest for the wicked until we close our eyes for good. Ooh, wood wainscoting walls and floors. That sounds nice. I love wainscoting. Hi, Akira. Thank you so much. And welcome, Abby Dragon. <laughs> Hi, Dark Druids. Hi, Destroyer. What are we doing? I'm modding Stardew. Ow. And making chat wait for me. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Wiley Curly, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, thank you. For custom walls and floors. Is this the content patcher version? It is. Fantastic. How's Pikmin doing? Pikmin's doing okay. His blood sugar is improved, but it's not good enough yet, so they've increased his dosage. He's been on the new dose for one day. With righteous dollar bills. There ain't no rest for the wicked. He don't grow on trees. I think that might actually do me. I was gonna do like a town interiors mod, but it's too much. It's called like elegant town interiors and it just ends up being kind of weird. <laughs> Close our eyes for good. No, not again. <laughs> I swear, I don't listen to this song over and over. Yeah, this is no, this is, in fairness, this isn't the 2010s playlist, this is the rock playlist. How many a poor boy? God, you do it via control. Uh. I'll figure that out later. This is fine for now. Oh, and I need the mod. Gray made me a mod. Isn't that nice of him? Five months. Hop, hop, thank you. Da -da. Da -da -da -ba 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 -da. Johnny Tulip, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much. Da -da -da. How did I get Twitch on VR? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, excuse? Please, please explain, explain. Da 
Wait, hold on a second. Easy money. Except I'm going to launch the game and eight mods will have updated, so give me a second. <laughs> Smappy says mods go here. Thanks, Smappy. You can update 14 mods! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Give me a minute. <laughs> Quick chat. I need one more mod because I'm running 68 mods right now. <laughs> <laughs> The next person to suggest Pam Horse is banned if more than two people suggest it, the entire chat is banned. Uh, I didn't. Do you have one, Gray? Yeah, because I found I found a mod that lets you adjust the the, pa the passage of time. But apparently you had to do it per area, which just seemed kind of annoying. Thank you. I swear, if that's hot Pam, say. <laughs> Replaces Clint's dialogue with Smorbus. <laughs> I see. Oh, you guys know how I told you that my arm was itchy? There's a little red lump on it now, so either that is the incoming eczema outbreak or I got bitten. I love getting bitten. It always has great results for me. I've never I've never had to go to hospital because of it. <laughs> Wait! No, great, that won't work because it has a dependency, so we'll have two mods, which will be 70. Oh, no. We're doomed. <laughs> Just get rid of another mod? You know not what you ask me. Thank you for the 53 months. Thank you, thank you. Okay, what are we downloading? We're downloading integrated minecarts. That's got an update. And I immediately typed integrated Minecraft. I don't even play that game. Alright, download. Da, 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 da. No, Smorbus wouldn't. <laughs> the movement speed mod would. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Just go for 420 mods instead, yeah. Pepo Recolor keeps saying it has a new version, but it doesn't. Does that happen when uh, mod makers just don't update? Like, the version in, in, in the actual file? Yeah, it hasn't been updated since the 21st. Uh, alternative textures? <laughs> Chrome just blocked a dangerous file from downloading. Get even stronger security with enhanced protection. Fuck off. Let me download my suspicious alternative textures. Google. Bum, bum, ba, da, ba, ba, da, da, da. Hi, Bardman. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Oh, uh, yeah, no, you can still download them. I just have to force it. Boo, 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 doo, doo. It's never done it to me before I started downloading Stardew mods. I don't know if something about Stardew specifically, like, trips it up, but it hates them. Da, 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 da. Don't need money. Don't need fame. Got to ride this train. <laughs> Atuna! Thank you for gifting seven subs! Thank you very much! Okay, content patcher is updated. Ellie's cuter barn animals has updated. That's exciting. Thank you, Chaos Codex! I appreciate that. Thanks very much for watching them. Hi, Frosty! My thumb just clicked. <laughs> it hurt. You did 177 squats and then you've collapsed on the floor. I mean, that's a lot of squats. I'm not surprised your ass hurts. <laughs> Hi, Shadow. <laughs> uh, cuter barn animals, farm manager. I don't even need that anymore, but okay. Fashion Sense, Fuya's Hairstyles Pack, what? Look up anything. Ridgeside Village. Ugh, again? Yellowbatic, thank you for gifting us up to Scalabra. Thank you, thank you. But wait, Kuta Coop didn't update? Nexus 8, the manifest update. I don't know what that means, but I'll re-download you anyway. Doesn't star drop auto-update mods? Yeah, but a lot of mod uh, owners seem to be kind of funky about the idea of you using auto-updaters. This would be much less annoying if my second monitor hadn't decided it wasn't going to show the taskbar today. I'm type manager. The most annoying thing I think about updating is a lot of these mods now have, uh... config files that keep getting overwritten. <laughs> Although, actually, I think... The good ones ship without config files, so it doesn't do that. Atuno, oh, thank you for gifting three months uh, to Phoenix. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go.
<laughs> Alright. Kyuya's hairstyles. I don't remember what that is. Presumably, it's hairstyles. I really like mods that are uploaded by, like, uh, the Korean creators because some of the things that they put are really funny. Like, the files here, one just says FS underscore hairstyles pack, which is fair. And then in optional hit files, it has PNG underscore hairstyles and the description says maybe you need it, dot dot dot. <laughs> Do I need it? Oh god, I just don't know! Oh, why on earth have you changed the name of it, though? That's really annoying. <laughs> Living dead girl. Oh, you changed it! I have to fix my hair! Oh. Yeah, I'll just do that. Um, look up anything Rich Side Village. Hey, Gray, why is it the SVE says that the SVE code needs to be updated, but it doesn't actually update ever? It's been saying that for a while. Living dead girl. Do I need to update? No, I don't. Ha ha ha. Good. Okay, I'm almost there. Oh my god, Vinny is included in this this rock mix. Rock Legends Red Vox, let's go. Mm, no, it looks like the whole of Stardew Valley Expanded updated again. Dumbbells? I want to lift dumbbells. I'm dumb, can you lift me? Very good. <laughs> Adder, thank you for the four months. Thank you, thank you. Bye. Okay, I think we're ready. 
Nothing personnel. Steam was unable to sync your Stardew Valley saves with the Steam Cloud. Wait, why? <laughs> what did I do? Hello? What what does this oh is it Tuesday? It's Tuesday. It should be fine, right? Because I haven't played. Oh Neon, how is it to feel such great sadness? How do you cope? I think it should be fine, right? It's not one of the mods, it's because it's Tuesday. I'm so efficient. All of my mods are now updated. Don't be jealous. If I did lose all of my save files, I'd be a little bit upset. I think I figured out why that one save file has nothing on it anymore on my farm. It's because it was using Grandpa's farm. Which I didn't re-download with SVE. <laughs> so it just went, uh, I don't know, and put the default farm in there. With nothing else. Um, are there any conspiracy theories I subscribe to? No, not really. I like the JFK movie, though. I, I always find it interesting when a movie manages to make something that should be very boring, exciting. So, like, for me, Casino Royale, the poker game. I don't care for poker, but it engages me. Um... Same, same, same goes for a JFK court proceeding. Shouldn't be interesting. They, they are, for whatever reason. There was another movie that I was talking about that lately. I don't remember what it was, though. Oh, it's changed my default hair. I'm now a grandma. Phone booth was good for that. The last Mimsy, the last go fuck yourself. Honestly, that's pretty cute. We'll just go with that. <laughs> Hi, Seven Arrows. Welcome. <laughs> Okay, I did do the goat's cheese. I need cloth. I need Yenko to shed. <laughs> um. Hi, Full Metal! Thank you! Bye, Katya. She didn't want an emerald. She wa He wanted to give her an amethyst. Pretty sure. Hold on. Amethyst, yeah. God. I'm a little bit concerned that the game is now actually periodically lagging, so I think I've actually installed something the game doesn't like. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Everybody, thanks for being here. It's 68 mods, actually. I wanted to do 69, but I couldn't think of another mod that didn't have a dependency. 
I'll think of it later. Is this Stardew? Yeah, it looks just like it. You can't tell? Okay, so first mod failure. The fence isn't working. How do I make Yenko shed? Aw, thank you very much. I'm glad you like my model. The category isn't Stardew yet. That's weird. I did set it to Stardew. Stardew. There you go. Eekst. It's not my birthday! Why not? Because I wasn't born today. <laughs> Limu said it was a... Sorry, Limubot said it was a... Because you told Limubot it was. Looks really weird in the winter, but it'll be nice later. <laughs> Ding dong, go back to normal. Thank you. A very merry and birthday to me? To me? I wanted to do something today. What would it have been? Goodness knows. <gasps> Ellie Mouse, thank you so much for the 19 months. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. I probably wanted to get more wood. Ow! Greenbeater, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, welcome, welcome. Arctic Wolf, thank you for gifting five subs. What the heck? Thank you so much. YouTube Shorts sent you here? Hell yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks for dropping by. Da -da -da -da. Druid's Veil, thank you for subbing! Thank you so much! Ooh, I like that outfit for Victor. My mother made 80,000 G last night from a stock trade. I think she's gonna spend it on expensive wine again. Heck, he also thank you for gifting five subs. Thank you so very much. Da -da 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 -da. 
<laughs> Now's the time to riz his mother, what, and get the 80,000 for myself? <laughs> Person, thank you for the nine months. Thank you, thank you. I have already gifted June twice. I need to actually gift Seb. Where's Seb? Thank you for the 18 months. Thank you very much. Limeabot says, where are the Limeu? Hello? Pleased. Oh, dude, that is genuinely a fucking adorable portrait for Sam. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my goodness, look how cute he is! <laughs> He's Link! <laughs> You're right. Hold on, I gotta eat some spaghetti. Leo want. Aquamarine. Oh. Where the heck is Emily? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, she might be visiting the other towns, I guess. Does Leon have a favorite food? No, all foods are Leon's favorite. He will eat everything and anything. It's actually annoying. Like, it kind of- he kind of acts like he's being starved. He's absolutely not being starved. He's totally fine. <laughs> he would absolutely eat broccoli if he could get his, his hands on it. So aquamarine. I cannot see the word, or, or sorry, see the the phrase aqua without not thinking of aqua farm. It's very annoying. Thank you, Cyberpunk. Who this? Hello? Andy. Wait, who the fuck is Andy? And why don't you have a portrait?
SVE? Oh, is he the Joja guy? Why doesn't he have a portrait? Great! Why doesn't Andy have a portrait? <laughs> Wee. Oh, hi, Lemo. Come in, come in. In before Grief forgot that Andy exists and didn't put him in his portrait mod. <laughs> Dog Bomb, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for being here. Have a great night. He's in a meeting right now? When he gets out, can you ask him, did you forget that Andy exists? It'd be really funny if he did, because the other portraits are working okay. <laughs> I'm working on this sculpture here. Come here, watch this. That's actually the correct one? Really? Hold on. It feels very different to all of the others, but let's go find out. Where the fuck is Andy? I think it might be. It's just stylistically really weird. Huh. Alright. I dig it. Let's go. I'm revealing the essence of the wood. Oh, yeah? Okay. Don't worry about it, Shiba. Apparently, he just looks weird. <laughs> Once you get past the outer layers, the true nature begins to show. Creepy, may I have a kiss? <laughs> I don't feel like setting myself back. That's just fucked. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely right. I first visited this valley as a little girl while on vacation with my parents. I knew I had to come back someday. This place has great artistic potential. Although I have to admit, it's not easy to pay the bills as an artist. Have you tried making VTuber models? <laughs> um... Why don't you have an art show in town? Why don't you sell your art on the internet? I mean, the second one would absolutely work better. But she might be opposed to it because she hates the internet or something weird. Hmm, I guess that's an idea, but I need a computer first. And again, that's expensive. Well, it was nice of you to visit. Event failed. <laughs> he doesn't love us, chat. Yeah, couldn't she just get a cheap laptop or something? Wait, was she supposed to host an art show and now she's not going to do it as part of her story because I told her the wrong thing? <laughs> Oops, oh well. Wait, do you just lose an entire sequence of events then? Just something different depending on what you pick. Oh. Oops. What's the other option? I just ruined all the trees that she would be using for her work. She should just ask Sebastian to help her set up. She sells art on the internet. Well, okay then, well. You know, that would probably work out much better for her long term. I have your thing! That totally is from Cliff, or whatever his name is. Is it, was his name Cliff? No. Clint! 
Oh, my favorite stone, you're so sweet. Huh, it's from who? Oh, you got it at Clint's? Well, I don't care where you got it from. It's beautiful. Thank you. Mwah. <laughs> fuck, Clint. Do you happen to know how to cook bean hot pot? I like that dish quite a bit. It's hard to get fresh ingredients in the winter, huh? Cooking is a good skill to have, and with all those fresh ingredients on your farm, you'll be sitting pretty. I feel like the villagers react to what I'm doing more. Bring a Joja Cola to Clint. <laughs> Are the portrait work working properly? Yes, it's just that Andy's is super weird and doesn't look like it's from the same set almost. Hi, Yuma. I would gift you more, but you don't like anything. You're so weird. You like pine cones, you little strange child. There you go. Are content mods the way to go for the first playthrough? Honestly, no. I've been suggesting that what people should do is they should just play the game vanilla, find things that they don't like or wish they could be expanded upon, and then go looking for mods to fix it. I think if you just load the game up with mods, you won't know what is a mod and what isn't, and won't, like, be able to adjust things in the future. I mean, I thought pine cones were neat as a kid, but I would have thought it was strange if someone gifted me one. What does Andy's look like? It's fine, apparently. Someone else with the mod said that it looks the same. I'll show you in a minute. And I looked it up and I think it does match what's on the mod page, so it's just... different. Yeah, if nothing else, if you've never played before, you do not need Ridgeside or Stardew Valley Expanded unless a particular bachelor or bachelorette has truly caught your eye, which I wouldn't blame you for. Some of them are cute. I like Victor's appearance. I think he's very cute, but then, like, his actual dialogue is boring as shit. <laughs> All he seems to do is talk about books or complain about his mother. Sophia's delightful. I feel really mean, but she cries too much. <laughs> like, it's just like, she's so sad, she's ignoring you. It's like, okay, fine, bitch, I'm gone. Why are you crying all the time? God! Have you tried just being happy? <laughs> uh, ba -da -da -da. Hi, Mizzy! This mod just does not fit. I need to change it. Hi, Pierre. I didn't recognize you. Your first year in Stardew Valley is almost over, huh? You keep buying seeds from me, you'll be twice as productive next year. And I have some exciting news. I'll be selling new seed varieties in my shop next year. I should have one new variety per season. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good one. You think if I, like, aimed carefully, I could throw a rock at the back of his head as he leaves? You know, I wouldn't even bother trying my competitor's seeds. Pierre's seeds are the highest quality seeds you'll find anywhere. That's a promise. Yeah, no, honestly, I would not have even close to the number of hours I'd have in Stardew if it wasn't for modding. It's the same with Rimworld. Gathering by Andy's house and walking to the fishing spot by the forest for the Festival of Ice. It's a celebration of winter. There'll be snowmen, ice sculptures, and a ice fishing, com fishing competition. I arrive between 9 and 2 if you'd like to participate. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I make the cheese. Rimworld Anomaly? I think it's the 16th is it's when it's coming out. I can't imagine there isn't a mod community for Starfield. I've just not engaged with it at all, personally. Do not eat the egg. <gasps> Yanko finally shed her fur. Thank you, Yanko. Wait, it's the 11th? Oh, shit. <laughs> well... Saf, thank you for raiding! Welcome, welcome! Yeah, maybe I should just wait on my mods. 69 bait. Is tracking my malicious. Oh no. <laughs> I hope they deliver me on time. Hi, Stryskin. Oh, she did? That's amazing. I'm looking forward to uh, actually seeing those credits roll. It's just annoying because Dragon's Dogma decided to come out in the same month that two of my favorite mod heavy, like, time sync games decided to release. Considering Royal Mail have my address in a database, you're not wrong. Yep, Rimworld, Stardew. It means that Dragon's Dogma is going to take a little bit longer than usual to complete. <laughs> There's a Dwarf Fortress update? Don't tell me shit like that, dude. My deforestation efforts go well. How much wood do I need for a deluxe barn? I have like probably closing in on... 300 right now. The forest? I finished the forest. Why are you mourning it? 550? Okay. Need to play Sons of? Have they finished it yet? I was kind of thinking about just waiting for, for release for that now. You legitimately can't remember the last game Lime's finished. You, are you legitimately not paying attention? I finished one just today. <laughs> I saw lunchies.
Wait. Oh, I was gonna say, do I not have any stone? I do have stone. Uh, let's go check in with Robin. I think I'm close. Leon just went... Sad, Leon. So sad. Mm -hmm. Deluxe barn. I need 4,000 gold and... 120 wood. 125 wood. Yeah, my problem is, a lot of the time, like, a game is good, but it just doesn't keep my interest until the end. I have to be really invested in a story. Because I am petty, I am going to completely deforest the area outside of Robin's house. <laughs> Yes, streamer, finished RimWorld. I actually enjoyed RimWorld. There was no real reason I dropped it. I wasn't stuck or anything. Just, I had other stuff I wanted to do, and the idea of trying to get back into it is very daunting. I finish unpacking? Yes. <laughs> I can't tell if there's more of these in winter or if they're just easier to spot. Easy Jake, thank you for the 42 months. Thank you, thank you. Spirits are in good humor today. Fantastic. Oh, it's Sunday, so does that mean gifts reset? Yeah, it does. Time to go Riz June. What did June like, even? I think he liked... Oh, he liked the, uh... The wild berries, I think. Some Sometimes I have this weird problem, though, where I... Try and delay finishing a game because I'm enjoying it so much, but then I cross a threshold where I just end up, like, burning out while trying to avoid finishing the game. Glad it's not just a me problem. Hmm. He liked blackberries though, right? Yeah, he does. I don't believe I deserve to get honked at, Leon. <laughs> Remember when I streamed Tales of Symphonia? Did I not finish that one? In fairness, I probably have a collective... S several hundred hours in that game across many playthroughs. I really enjoy it, but like, uh... It's hard for me to, like, stay super engaged because I have played it way too many times. I feel like I did finish it, though, because I, I remember doing some endgame grinding. Uh, 
Uh oh. <laughs> Thank you, Rip. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks for watching the shorts. towards the end. Mostly because it becomes like a Zelos rizzing sim for me. And you have to play the game in a very specific way if you want Zelos to be in your top three characters. Because if you kind of like play it the way Lloyd would, would encounter or interact with situations, you basically guarantee that Colette and Genus are all over your shit. And they take up a lot of slots for your favorite three characters. So the way that I play Tales of Symphonia is that I spend the entire first chunk of the game absolutely destroying the friendship of Lloyd and Genus and sh shaking Colette off of him super hard. <laughs> Basically picking everything that they hate. And then it ends up being that Rain and Kr Kr Kratos are my favorite friends in the whole world. Which is very funny. I love the coffee scene in Tales, it's so good. But yes, to, to explain... There is a mechanic in Tales of Symphonia where towards the end you stay in a place called Flanor, I believe. And your... The top three characters that you have the most affection with will come and see you that night. They'll knock at the door in order. Um, and if you choose to go and spend the evening and talk to them... They become like your locked in companion and your your favorite, so either your bestie or your romance route. Um, and it is very, very easy for two of those people to be like Lloyd's best friend and and canonical love interest. So you have to like play very specifically to shake both of those people off you <laughs> in order to get any other character. Yeah, you basically have to be a dick for the entire first half of the game. And more. Is this even making money? Not really. You hate Rain? I liked Rain. She was fun. I don't really dislike anybody in Tales of Symphonia. Reen? I don't remember who that is. Oh, I can't get out this way. No, I didn't, Limebot. Would you recommend it? No, stop fishing. Chizan. Prisea? Prisea's thing was that she had an X sphere <laughs> implanted within her, and it was like one rendering her emotionless and two stunting her from ever growing. I believe was how it worked. So she was basically like personalityless uh empty shell until the sphere was removed. And then she freaks the fuck out. <laughs> Cuz her life kind of sucked and bad things happened.
you, Mr. Genowal. Minion, you are creeping ever closer. Bad Games Jewels, thank you for the 23 months. Thank you, thank you. Insider TV, thank you for subbing. Oh, oh. <sighs> Regular Toasty, thank you for subbing. Thank you very much. Yep, I'm playing Stardew. Chat, should I put those powder melons into the keg or the the jar? Because they're only worth 66 a piece. I think that means they should be kegged, right? Jarred, even. Not kegged. Say hello to this one. Look at Snuffy, isn't she cute? Uh, powder melon, I think, is a new vanilla crop. Uh, that mod is improved ranching. Or better ranching, even. Sorry. I think I can finish the, uh, the community center now. Or at least that one part of the community center, not the whole thing. That would be nice, though. I'm gonna get a greenhouse. What should I grow in my greenhouse, chat? Bundle complete! Big! Oh shit, the Festival of Ice. <laughs> yeah, the bookseller visits. Leon, do not curl up right behind my chair, babe. Hey, babe. It is very yes. Good boy. Good doing. You've been sleeping. Okay, um... A 
I'm not gonna read out all the dialogue here because I would like die. There's so many NPCs now that it's just impossible. very smug now. <laughs> Read the dialogue of the cute NPCs. It would take three whole minutes. You think it's gonna take three whole minutes to voice every single line of dialogue for every one of these fuckers? Oh my god, there's so many! <laughs> it never ends! Oh no, poor turtle. Tortoise, even. My grandfather would be sad if he knew I wasn't entering the contest, as it was something we both loved to do. But I just have a lot on my plate, and I don't have the patience right now to wait for a fish to bite. No, see, it's, it's gonna take forever. <laughs> the festival is a waste of time and resources. You spend so much time waiting for the fish. But if you catch one, they just tell you to let it go at the end of the day. She's so fun, isn't she? <laughs> this guy has clipped into a snowman. Hey chat, for the fishing competition, is it faster to do a minimum cast instead of a maximum one? It is faster to do a minimum cast? Okay. I don't know how to fish. <laughs> yeah, so this was the Andy portrait, but apparently that is his portrait. He just looks really different compared to a lot of the others. Snakey Drake, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you, thank you. Sophia's outfit is adorable. Look at it. How do you think that guy rizzed a mermaid? Looking good, Laimu. Oh, I hate that guy. I like Gus's uh, little sweater. Isn't that cute? Actually, honestly, everyone is cute with their uh, winter gear. Hi, Dimmer! Yeah, it was kind of weird that they didn't have winter outfits. Emily started helping me without any provocation. Does this mean something? Gulp. Oh, Clint, no. <laughs> uh, the festival is part of the default patch that all the NPCs are modded. Sorry, the festival has been in for a while. I like Shane's outfit. Da, da, da. They released the fish after the festival. That'd just go bad if we didn't. Oh, oh my god! Haley! She's an angel! Look at her! Look at how adorable 
she is. Oh. <laughs> what kind of snowman should we make? Um... Sojifidia, thank you so much for the hundred bits. You're welcome. Nerdle, thank you for the four years. Holy moly. Thank you, thank you. I cannot talk to her. It's just looking at the igloo. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. You're gonna be like the only person I don't talk to at this festival. My bad. I love this portrait style so much. It just brings like a cohesiveness to like all the other mods. It's like one of the few that seems to cover all of them so you don't end up with annoying issues. I think if ever it becomes like obsolete and breaks, I might cry. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> this is Nyapus. Oh, I love Olivia. Pretty. The ridge side people, I think, don't have winter portraits, so it makes them look a little bit funny. Make snow turtle angel. Shiro's kind of cool, but I have a feeling every single heart event will be about his brother. <laughs> We set up this frozen lake and stocked it full of fish. Let me know when you're ready to compete. I am ready to compete. Yes. Everyone, let's begin this year's ice fishing competition. Why does everyone start next to a hole but me? Contestants, your goal is to catch as many fish as you possibly can in two minutes. You must catch your fish here from these holes in the ice. Is everyone ready? Yes. Hit. Is there an RNG component to winning here? Because I'm kind of getting cucked. Do I need to win? Wait, five? No. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, the, the mod list as it is, is pretty much up to date. It would be to watch a fishing competition in the freezing cold. 
<laughs> I'd be so miserable quite quickly. Oops. <laughs> Six should be fine, right? 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 That's a lot of fish. The smell. Now for the winner of this game's ice fishing competition. Mima with bi six big slimy fish. <laughs> Here's your prize. Sailor's cap, a dressed spinner, a barbed hook, and a magnet. Yay! Well, that's it for this year's Festival of Ice. Thanks for coming, everyone. Now let's release these poor fish. Do you think it really pisses Willie off to be like the town's fisherman and to get beaten during the fishing competition? <laughs> Hello. Good morning, Ms. Laimu. I came to ask you a favor since you're such a kind neighbor. You see, I'm trying to train my ghosts to say hello, but they simply won't pay attention to me unless I have their favorite treat, cave carrots. Since I'm scared of the mines, I thought, well, maybe you would bring me a cave carrot when you have a chance. There's no pressure, but if you want to, just swing by my house between 9 and 5 with a cave carrot. Like today? Okay. Oh, hello! Hi, Laimu! Good morning! Hi. You seem to be doing well. The farm looks great. Thank you. You've been here a while. I'm sure you've acquired some cloth by now. I just sold it, Emily. Come on. If you... Did you know that you can use cloth to tailor all kinds of clothes? All you need is access to a sewing machine. And I happen to have one at home. Feel free to swing by and use it anytime. Whoa. To start tailoring, you'll need a piece of cloth and a secondary item. Experiment to see what unique styles are out there. I'm not taking care of animals. I like to be. I like to experiment in the kitchen. Since we've become friends, I want to share some recipes with you. I hope you like this. Pale broth. Uh, I used the cloth for the community center, yes, and I sold the other one. for raiding! Welcome, welcome, everybody. That's really weird being on, like, a, a... the same kind of schedule as Mike. Is Mike still exploring Europe? Is he having a nice time? Welcome, welcome, Mike viewers. How was the stream? In Germany now? Ooh. Very good. Resting for tomorrow? What happens tomorrow? Is it exciting? Uh 
He's going to do the deed. That's interesting. <laughs> I see. Jumpy! Thank you so much for the 30 months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> A beautiful greenhouse all for me. Thank you so much for the two years. Thank you, thank you. Wait. Oh my god, I just sold them all without processing them. I'm dumb. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. Oopsie daisy. Goodbye, profits. I was like, why does that look different from usual? Because you didn't process them, you dumb person. Feels bad. Okay, so let's get my wood and get my stone. There's a lot of mods going on here, yes. <laughs> So with a deluxe barn, do I get both pigs and sheep at the same time? I feel kind of bad because I bet you most people just ignore the sheep at that point because why you you want pigs? Need pigs. Meat mod? That's always struck me as kind of dark. <laughs> oh, you're right. I think the grass mod is breaking the blue grass. Uh-oh. I guess I will not be using that mod anymore. Huh. I don't think I can just turn it off. I'll have to uninstall it. Let's see. Nope, don't see it here. I'll have to just kill it. No, there's nothing wrong with Vibrant Pastoral color Recolor. The... I have an extra grass mod that's doing it. Yeah, I just installed it today, so I didn't notice because I haven't really been using the bluegrass because it is winter. you ghost of robin <laughs> no i have 68 mods right now but hey if i uninstall the grass mod and then install the movement speed mod that i was looking at and its dependency i'll be at 69 very good No, it's called self-serve. If you're talking about the mod that uh, lets me talk, or sorry, buy things when she's not here. Skeleton. <laughs> 
Is that true, Lamu Bot? Right, one man, but this that's for, for the vanilla game. I am no longer playing the vanilla game. There is too much content to get to by using just the vanilla stuff that is provided to me. Oh, I'm supposed to be tracking down Krovis, I think, and I never did. Yeah, this is still year one. It does a little bit, but we already have a wizard in town. Although I don't think he's evil, in fairness. I don't use Smappy, I do use Smappy. I guess I just kind of assumed that, you know, people would would put Smappy on. Oh wait, you cannot get puppy fish in the winter? That's beans. Boo, my source of money! Yeah, no, 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 no. It's not listed because it's not a mod in that folder. But it definitely requires it. Self-serve, she seraph. This still isn't fixed. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much entirely got self-serve because of Marnie. She was annoying me very much. I mean, you could always just not use the new vegetable crop. That is absolutely a choice you could make. I believe in your ability to resist the min-max. start spending money on like my decorations so that it doesn't clash with this kitchen so much but bleh. <laughs> oh thank you Vodu. I appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. All right where's Sebastian right now? He is at home. But he looks kind of like he's moving so gotta be quick. Hi Ian. Do you like anything? Frozen tears. Sorry that's for Seb. I think I honestly would die without NPC locations and look up. Have you been by the lake recently? I was on a tri I was on a run late night and I noticed that the old bridge was repaired. Why did I get that achievement? Was that because I've made friends with a bunch of people? Chris Fallen Wolf, welcome, welcome. Excuse me, Morphy Dog. Quiet. There's nothing there. Yeah, take a big stretch. You'll feel better. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we gotta play D D. Hey, Laimu. Sam and I were about to play Solarian Chronicles the game. Why don't you join us? It's better with three players anyway. Here we go. Let me draw the scenario card. It looks like today's quest will take us into the Necromancer's Tower to try and reclaim the Solarian star staff from the clutches of the Dreadlord Zarth. Cool, Laimu, are you ready to choose your character? I can never remember how I'm supposed to play this. <laughs> I don't even think... Do you even get anything better for doing it well? What do you get for doing it well? Is it worth the min-max? More affection for being good at the video game? Okay. Mm, warrior, healer, wizard. Do I need to pick wizard or healer? I don't remember what they like. healer, because I'm pretty sure Seb likes the wizard and Sam likes the warrior. Healer, huh? That's a very important role. I guess I'll pick the wizard then. Warrior is my favorite anyway. Let's begin. Trusted you and your companions with recovering the Solarian staff, a task which, if completed successfully, will ensure your place in the Hall of Legends as well as the sizable fortune of gold and silver. After a long month journeying across unforgiving lands, you step out onto the precipice to see your destination looming in the distance. Really, Otter? <laughs> That's amazing! There, beyond a moonlit plain, lies the Necromancer's Tower where Dreadlord Zarth usurps the power of the stolen, stolen Solarian staff for his vile purposes. That's really hard to say. <laughs> the tower lies before you. Go in the front, fortune favors the bold. You would actually think that's a bad decision, but I'm pretty sure it's a good one. A skeleton guards the hallway before you. It looks dangerous. What do you do? Um... Fight the skeleton? Raise your shields when the skeleton lunges forwards. You successfully block the attack. The skeleton stumbles backward, giving you enough time to strike out and slay the foul creature. Nice. You continue down the hallway, taking care not to step on the skeleton's remains. You find yourself in a sewer-like corridor. To your left, a hallway glows with a peculiar green light. To your right, a staircase leads up into the dark. Oh, you are in a room. On your left is a ladder. On your right, three prisoners are floating in strange glowing capsules. They appear to be in the process of some kind of transformation. We should alien resurrection them. Could this be some sick experiment of the Dreadlords? What do you do? Break them! After putting these poor souls to rest, you and your companions climb the ladder. You come to a door at the end of a hallway. The time has come to face Dreadlord Zarth. <laughs> Intruders, how dare you trespass in my private chambers? Ah, so you've come here for the Solarian staff. 
Fools, you'll make a nice addition to my skeleton army. Gidlorzoth casts Shadow Beam. You were able to dodge the spell, but your companions are gravely injured. Oh, shit. Heal. <sighs> Sorry, I'm romancing Seb, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Lemu. Oh no, Zeb, I'm sorry! <laughs> Sebastian casts Pure Bolt. A beam of white light hits Zarth square in the face. The Dread Lord shrieks and crumbles into dust. Hey, we won. You pick up the Solarian staff and hold it high. Order has been restored to the world. Hell yeah. I knew you had to go in the front. <laughs> Hey, not bad. It took me like three or four tries to beat my first scenario. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. <laughs> or Sam. It's okay. I'll give him some Joja Cola later. He'll feel better. Here you go. I was so close to screaming at my mom for throwing away my old comic collection, but something stopped me. I guess with age comes wisdom. Is it really that late or did the doing the scenario cause a bunch of time to go by? Yeah, I mean, what's the warrior gonna do against the wizard? Deal with it, dude. I can't tell if there are just a lot more of these in winter, or if I haven't been seeing them because of my recolor mods <laughs> in the other seasons. What's the world's most expensive comic book, chat? Action Comics number one, how much does it cost? June is missing. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Hi, you look at. He doesn't like anything. Rip. But yeah, the sheer amount of people that I can talk to now is why I'm gonna look into getting either a time slow or a movement speed up. Action Comics number one is worth six million. <gasps> What is CGC? Oh, is it like comic grade for, for whether or not it's in a good state? Gotcha. Oh, Juna's here. Where Where is that? Oh, it's by the lake. Yeah, rarity. Oh, he's here now. Hi, June. Helpful. Here you go, buddy. Hi, Lamu. On days like this, I could really go for a hot bowl of spicy eel. You think there was an even better quality one just hiding away somewhere in somebody's collection? Yeah, 
You have to read number one if you want to know what's going on. I would like to- I would like to introduce you to the idea of, like, the internet. <laughs> and the potential of reading comics online. I didn't say pirating comics, I said reading them online. You can do that legitimately. Big Bean, thank you for the sub. Thank you very much. I forgot to give Marty her carrot. I'm so sorry, Marty. <laughs> but unfortunately, our time together has come to an end, chat, because I need to go walk my dogs. So thank you very, very much for hanging out. It was a pleasure streaming video games for you. Um, Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you for, 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 for chatting and talking and keeping me company. It, make sure if you do want information on when I'm live, if, if you're not already, please make sure to follow me and check out my socials. Uh, if you are a returning viewer, thank you very much. I love you long time. If you are a new viewer, thank you. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you would like access to my archives, my highlights, and my shorts, please go check out my YouTube channels. For now, though, let me see who I can send you guys over to. Um, <laughs> Leon knows like my ending thing, so he will just like get very excited when he hears me go into it. Wait, wait. Oh man. Oh man. I wanted to get baited in by a Subnautica raid, but. That's be right back screen and I don't know how long it's gonna be. Do you guys remember when I raided? I think it was Nanalus. And Nanalus was on be right back and then I think fell asleep or something. <laughs> so never came back. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna send you guys over to Eri who is streaming some arts. I really, really enjoy Eri's art, so hopefully you guys can head over there and say hi. Thank you so much for being here. I believe it's follower chat, so you're gonna have to uh, follow, but once you are able to, please make sure to throw some dances into their chat. Thank you so much for hanging out. Please enjoy the comfy art, and I will catch you guys next time. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Bye. Bye.